Tracing Code Tracing code is a method of tracking all the variables and the output or returns of a code segment through each iteration or statement execution to troubleshoot logic errors. In order to trace the execution of a loop, follow these steps. Step 1. Create a chart that has a column for every variable and a column for the output. Step 2. On the first row, put the initial values for any variables except the loop control variable. Step 3. In the rows following, go through the loop adding the values for each variable for each iteration. There may or may not be output with each iteration. There may or may not be output after the loop. In this video, we will walk through tracing two different code segments that use iteration. For example, look at this code segment. Sum is initialized to zero. The loop control variable i is initialized to zero. The conditional checks to see if i is less than five and i is incremented by one. Inside the loop, the value of sum is updated by the value of i. After the loop, the value of sum is displayed. The question is, what will this segment display? The chart for this tracing will have columns for i, sum, and the output. The initial value of sum is zero. For the first iteration, the value of i is added to sum and then sum is updated to zero. For the second iteration, the value of i is added to sum and then sum is updated to one. For the third iteration, the value of i is added to sum and then sum is updated to three. For the fourth iteration, the value of i is added to sum and then sum is updated to six. For the fifth iteration, the value of i is added to sum and then sum is updated to 10. For the sixth iteration, the value of i is five and the conditional in the for loop is false, so the loop ends. Now the print statement after the loop is executed and the output is sum colon 10. Let's trace another code block that uses a while loop. Num is initialized to 12, fact is initialized to one. The conditional for the while loop checks to see if fact is less than num. Inside the loop, another conditional checks to see if num mod fact is equal to zero. This means that fact is a factor of num and divides into num evenly. If the conditional is true, then the value of fact is displayed with a comma and a space. Notice the use of print instead of print line, so there is no new line before the next item prints. Outside of the conditional, fact is incremented by one. After the loop, the value of num is displayed. The chart for this tracing will have columns for num, fact, num mod fact, and the output. The initial values are num equal 12 and fact equal 1. For the first iteration, fact is less than num, so the body of the loop executes. Checking that 12 mod 1 is equal to 0, the output is 1 comma fact is incremented to two. For the second iteration, fact is less than num, so the body of the loop executes. Checking that 12 mod two is equal to zero, the output is two comma. Fact is incremented to three. For the third iteration, fact is less than num, so the body of the loop executes. Checking that 12 mod three is equal to zero, the output is three comma. Fact is incremented to four. For the fourth iteration, fact is less than num, so the body of the loop executes. Checking that 12 mod four is equal to zero, the output is four comma. Fact is incremented to five. For the fifth iteration, fact is less than num, so the body of the loop executes. Since 12 mod five is two, the if statement does not execute and there is no output. Fact is incremented to six. For the sixth iteration, fact is less than num, so the body of the loop executes. 
checking that 12 mod 6 is equal to 0, the output is 6, comma. Back is incremented to 7. For the seventh iteration, back is less than num, so the body of the loop executes. Since 12 mod 7 is 5, the if statement does not execute and there is no output. Back is incremented to 8. For the eighth iteration, back is less than num, so the body of the loop executes. Since 12 mod 8 is 4, the if statement does not execute and there is no output. Back is incremented to 9. For the ninth iteration, back is less than num, so the body of the loop executes. Since 12 mod 9 is 3, the if statement does not execute and there is no output. Back is incremented to 10. For the tenth iteration, back is less than num, so the body of the loop executes. Since 12 mod 10 is 2, the if statement does not execute and there is no output. Back is incremented to 11. For the eleventh iteration, back is less than num, so the body of the loop executes. Since 12 mod 11 is 1, the if statement does not execute and there is no output. Back is incremented to 12. For the twelfth iteration, back is not less than num, so the loop ends. The print statement after the loop executes and the output is 12.